one where we're going to play on later. Squeeze in the power, 700 horsepower. Like Nigel's plane, the Lamborghini makes use of lightweight materials, including a carbon fibre monocoque chassis. So, although it still weighs in at over 1,600 kilograms, that's not bad for a car that's over two metres wide and nearly five metres long. For me, this is pretty scary in terms of when do you start braking before oh, the no, end no, of the no. runway? This is the problem. We have a physical end. I'm not sure myself. That's about 100. Oh, 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 oh. But it's amazing with ABS how you can amazing. slam on the brakes. Amazing. Having demonstrated the Lambo's straight line ability, it was time to see if it could rival Nigel's aircraft in the stunt department. But I knew I'd be struggling. But of course, it's four wheel drive, so it's not that easy to play with the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you've got drive through the front wheels as well as the rear, it's tricky to kick the back out. <laughs> However, give the throttle pedal a proper thump, and the big machine will come to heel. Too much, we won't have any rubber left. Would you like to try out the uh, road go? I'd love to. So, this idea of donutting is just sort of you break the traction yeah, yeah, yeah. by being a bit brutal. So, you don't want to yeah. be sort of too sympathetic. I mean, obviously, you had a very good teacher. Go beyond where you want to be. It's a bit disappointed how easily Nigel took to donutting the Lamborghini. Get some lock on it, snap the front, that's it. I suppose if he could loop the loop for his living, I guess donutting is a piece of cake. Well, there you are. You can do stunts in a car now. Now what are we doing? Now we must go to the runway and go fast. You should feel happier now. A nice big On the runway, of course, of course. So how fast do you think you can get up to it a mile and if you're going to nail it? 150, I reckon I'll get to it. Knowing what this man does for a living and the machine he was now driving, that sounded a bit conservative. A few minutes earlier, I'd managed to reach 188 miles an hour before hitting the brakes. So how close would this airborne speed merchant get to that figure? So I'm not sure about your, your takeoff methods, yeah. but this automatic, so all you have to do is okay. just stomp the throttle and get ready to pull yeah, the right, because it'll I'm get ready. to the rev limit and quick in first. Ready. Right, three, two, one, launch! Right, full, 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 full! Whoa. The Aventador's acceleration is brutal, but so are the gear changes. This is what they call a single clutch, yeah. and that's why it's the jerk, whereas most cars have a double clutch, so the gear's already engaged. 187. Oh. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, what well, actually surprised me the most that a man that spends his life in the most amazing aerobatics seemed like a, a kid with a new toy behind the wheel of that Lamborghini, and he really loved it. And he really drove it too, proving a dab hand at donuts and getting within just one mile an hour of my top speed. Need to lose position immediately and have my face rubbed in it. 